Hey guys, it's Rich. Welcome back to another video. I just came back from locals winning first place. Uh, we only played three games. There were not enough people there. I bet one it all, uh, one blue eyes deck, and I won zombies. And um, that that was pretty close. Um, first round I win. Second round he wins. Um, he got three Baldurocks, and I'm like, I'm not playing with this. So I just surrender. And the third round uh, I win. So it was. 2-0, 2-0, and then 2-1, and I won first place. So uh, I'll be showing you my deck, Salman Great deck profile, and uh, please enjoy. All right, let's get on with the deck profile. So um, first of all, the Salman Great monster is playing two Foul, two Jack Jaguar, uh, three Foxy, three Spinny, obviously. And then for the one odds, we're playing one Falco, one Mir, and one Gazelle. Uh, a lot of people haven't seen Mir in play, but it's really good. It has two effects. So one effect of Mir is, um, is it's in your hand. You can discard a Salaman Great card, Special It. And then the other effect is when it's added from the deck to the hand, you can Special Summon it. Or not from the deck. When Whenever it's added to your hand, you can Special Summon it. So basically, um, if you add it back, because of Lion Emperor, uh, you add it back because of Sunlight Wolf, you add it, uh, you add it because of a Circle, you add it because of Lady Debug, you special it. Also, you have the Ditch, so like, if you have it in your hand and you need to get like, you have Jack Jaguar in your hand, you want to get rid of it, Mirror. Like, yeah, it, it's, it's a pretty, real, it's a really good card and there's like loads of combos you can do with it. So, um, that's it for the Son of My Great Monsters. Uh, so here we're playing three red resonators. It's like this new thing. We're playing the new, um, not not the new, but like the improved Salman Great version. Uh, we're playing the Synchro Monster in here, not the Salman Great Synchro, but we're playing a Fire Fist Synchro Monster in here. Playing two Flame Buffalo, and then obviously three Lady Debug. Uh, two and three because. I know some people go like 3 buffalo, 2 debug, but I would rather just go 3 debug. I used to play 3 debug and 3 buffalo, but it got kind of iffy. So I went with this lineup instead. What this card does, um, when it's summoned, you can special summon 1 level 4 lower monster from your hand. So basically, if you have this and debug, you can synchro summon easily and it's, it, 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 you can go into a combo. Uh, and like basically, when you have a jaguar, when you have something you can't get out, like most probably like the Jaguar and everything, you can't go into them, you do that. Hand traps, yes, the hand trap, my favorites. Uh, one Ghost Ogre, uh, two Effect Veilers, three Ash Blossoms, obviously, and then two Nibirus in main deck, yeah, you can swap it out if it's, if you're not playing, but having this is like really good. Um, yeah, this kind of it for the hand traps I only play eight I think more than like it, it's pretty sufficient okay for the spells one sanctuary one circle and three will pretty standard uh, you might ask me why I'm not playing called better grave it is in the side deck because I couldn't find space to put in, uh, fit in called better grave because I'm playing I'm playing so much like all together I'm playing like all these solid monsters I'm also playing lady debug buffalo Red Resonators, I, I, I just couldn't find space for the Call by the Grave. Um, for Traps, we're playing um, 3 Rage, 2 Roar, and then 1 Crackdown. So we are playing 6 Traps. Normally when you had Stalio, you could just play, we only play 2 Traps, you'd only play like the Rage and Roar, because when you had Stalio, you could go into Gazelle, send the Roars, but it was like searchable. But now that we don't have Stalia, we got it. We like we have to increase it. So um, yeah, we we'll, we we'll play these right. Onto the side or uh, onto the extra deck now. So um, so uh, the standard stuff obviously uh, three veilings, three sunlight wolf, double helio, standard stuff right. Um, you're gonna be surprised I'm um, not playing Nightmare Phoenix in this. Cause I also couldn't find space for that, so it's in the uh, it's in the side deck. Uh, Hita, because if they have Ash Blossoms, if they have any kind of fire monster, you use it, right? 
And also, since spirals are coming, they're probably going to use your fire monster if they have it. And go into um, uh, their fire fusion monster. So, update jammer. Update jammer, transcode, boral load combo. Uh, obviously, uh, like if most of you know this, but uh, for you who don't know, this guy is amazing. If you link summon using this guy, that card can attack twice. And every time a monster destroy, uh, every time a cybers monster destroys an opponent's monster by battle, inflicts a thousand damage. It's for OTKs. Transco Tucker, uh, Transco Tucker is uh, basically if you only summon cybers monsters, you can special summon one uh, link three or lower cybers monster from your graveyard uh, to the zone of points to. So basically, you're gonna go into update jammer, use something and update jammer, and then get this. Uh, get transfer the cocker and then just bring back the update jammer uh, from the graveyard and then uh, also you could do the same thing with update jammer use two other monsters and then go into boral load and then for the Xyz we're playing obviously the Lion Emperor you have to play it uh, some people play Dante and everything it, it, this is the best one you have to Abyss Dweller like I break so many boards with it bro um, this uh Dylan, my man, um, he's the guy playing zombies. He got triggered. I, I went into this every game we played. And uh, fired uh and then we're playing Pegasus. So my Emperor and Pegasus, these are only the Brotherhood of Firefist we play. So what okay, so most all of you know this card, right? So basically detach material, add a level three uh, fire monster back to your hand. Uh this guy or no, is it add yeah, so add any fire monster back to your hand, and then this guy is um, you synchro summon it. When it's summoned, you can special summon one level three or lower fire monster from uh, or no level three fire monster from your deck to the field. So basically, you go red resonator, lady debug, whatever, into this, Wh whatever you want, right? It doesn't even have to be a debug because if you go into debug, you're adding gazelle. If you don't have a gazelle, you go into this and get a gazelle. It's like free search. And, um, I had to take up the Nightmare Phoenix for this card, so. I am playing, like, n like not a lot of Cybers monsters, so the Transcode Tucker is iffy, but, like, I only go into, like, the non Cybers monsters, only, like, first turn. I'm going, I, I see Transcode Tucker, like, every second turn of mine. It's so, like, it, I'm using it, like, all the time. Nightmare Phoenix for side deck. So, we're playing one Nightmare Phoenix, the only extra deck card. Uh, Solid Graveyard, two Combat Grave, Monster Reborn, two Pendulum Storm, uh, uh, uh anti Pendulum, obviously. Uh, Solid Graveyard is very decent. Uh, uh, shout out to Dylan for giving me this as well. Um, thank you very much. Playing the one Mind Control, obviously. I, w I would play two, I don't have to. So, Lost Wind, Red Reboot. Different Dimension Ground, that card is so good. Different Dimension Ground is, any card sent to the graveyard is banished instead. It kills their decks. Um, Anti-Spell Fragrance. Uh, and then we're for the, for the side deck, uh, we're playing two Drone Lock, oh, you have to play it in this meta. Um, spirals going around and everything, Drone Lock, obviously. And we're playing one Prank Atops. So let's start for the side deck. Let's get on to some combos. So, to start off the combos, we're playing the two card combo, Red Resonator and Lady Debug. Um, so what you do here is, normal Red Resonator, activating its effect to special Debug. Activating Debug's effect, you're gonna add Gazelle to the hand. Then you're gonna use these guys, synchro them away into Fire Prince, or Horse Prince, sorry my bad. Um, activating Horse Prince effect to special Spinny from the deck. You're gonna link these two guys away into Sunlight Wolf, activating Gazelle's effect because Spinny was sent to the grave. You can special it. Then you can activate Gazelle's effect. Now this totally depends on the shape of your hand. It's so important. You don't always have to send a trap. You don't always have to send whatever I'm sending right now. Uh, so basically, if you have no trap in your hand, solid, solid trap, you have you're gonna have to send a trap. You need a, a, an interruption. If you do, you could send the other one, you don't have to, but um, you could really extend, right? Um, for example, if you had like a foul, 
if you had just one more foul, what you could extend to is um, you could send Jack Jaguar, activate Jack to get it back, and then special foul to make Abyss Dweller. So, you're, like, you, you, you could do many things, but for this one, we're going to go ahead and send the Rage to the Grave. All right, activate Spinning Effect to special it. You're going to Xyz these into Lion Emperor. Activating Sunlight Wolf's effect, we're going to add Red Resonator back, because that's the only Fire Monster in the Grave as of now. Then you're going to activate Lion Emperor's effect. You're going to Decharge Gazelle and add it back. Then you're going to reincarnate the Sunlight Wolf. Activate its effect to add Rage back. You're going to set Rage, and you have five cards in your hand. Because we started off with the two card combo, and we must have had three cards in the hand. So we have these two, we have we have these two, and then three other cards. So basically your extension is so powerful. Those two cards, you get these, and then you can have like hand traps all the time. Like it's so powerful. So now we're just gonna go ahead and do some test hands. Alright, so gonna go ahead and do that. One, two, three, four, five. Alright, so what do we get? We got Ash, Foxy, Sanctuary, Spinny, and Red Resonator. Okay, opening with Sanctuary, terrible, but it's okay, because it, it is what it is, right? Um, so what we're going to do here is normal Red Resonator, activating its effect to special Foxy. And uh, next we're going to go ahead into uh, Bailinx. I'm going to go on Bailinx here. Uh, we can't activate this effect to have Sanctuary because we already have it. We can go ahead activate Sanctuary here. Then we can activate Foxy effect because there is Sanctuary in the field. We're going to ditch the Spinny to special it back. Uh, we're going to act. Uh, then we're going to activate. So then we're going to go into Sunlight Wolf with. Doo -doo. With these two cards. So you're going to activate Spinny Effect. To special it. You're going to go Xyz. Into Lion Emperor. You're going to activate Lion Emperor's effect. To detach the Foxy. And add the Foxy back to the hand. And... Then you can also activate this guy's uh, effect to add Red Resonator back to the hand. So that's pretty much all you can do for this one. Let's get on to another one. Alright, so for the next one, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We got Salamangri Circle, Nibiru, Foul, Roar, and the Debug. So how are we going to start this up? We're going to go ahead, normal the debug, activating its effect to add gazelle, can find it, it's at the very top of my deck, so we're going to add gazelle, we're going to go ahead, activate circle here, we're going to add Mm. I think we can go ahead and add Mirror to the hand. Oh, no, we're going to add Spinny to the hand actually. Okay. So we're going to add Spinny to the hand. We're going to link this away into Bailings. I'm going to trigger Foul and Bailings. So, chilling 1, chilling 2. Foul goes first. And we add Sanctuary. Activate Sanctuary. Uh, then we're going to go ahead, activate Spinny's effect, ditch it. One of them gains 500 attack, doesn't matter. So we're going to activate Gazelle, special. We're going to send here. So if we already have Roar, either we could set up with Roar Rage, or we could set up with Abyss Dweller. So we're going to go ahead and send the Jack Jaguar this time. So uh, after doing that, we're going to use these two to 
to go into Sunlight Wolf. We're going to reincarnate Sunlight Wolf. Like so. I'm going to activate Sunlight, Sunlight Wolf's effect. Tad circle back to the hand. I'm going to activate Jaguar's effect. Shuffle the Sunlight Wolf to special it here. Activating its effect to add Gazelle to the hand. Then we can activate Spinny's effect. Special it from the graveyard. We can then go ahead and Xyz into a Pistoler. And we can set to and end. That is a pretty decent hand, actually. Uh, we probably shouldn't have summoned this. We could just leave it in the grave and that'll be good enough. So that's it for this test hand. Let's go on to the next one. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead. One, two, three, five. In this one, we get one Ash Blossom, Effect Builder, Foul, Will, and Jack Jaguar. From here, you can already see this is going to be a rank 4 Abyss Dweller play. Um, uh, so we're going to go ahead, normal Jack, activating Foul effect to special Foul. We're going to go ahead, link our Jack Jaguar for Bailinx. Activating Bailinx effect to add a Sanctuary. So we're going to activate Sanctuary. Gonna link these two away into our Sunlight Wolf. Then we're gonna then we're gonna reincarnate Sunlight Wolf by using Sanctuary. We're gonna activate Will and use the second effect of Will to get both of these back in defense position and setting it to the grave. But now we can activate the Sunlight Wolf effect to just get it back, right? And we can then go use these two. Uh, we actually have a bigger one here. Uh, hmm, let's think. I think we can go use these two. Cause we still haven't used the Jack Jaguar effect to go into Heat Leo to activate the Jack Jaguar effect to shuffle back the Sunlight Wolf to get this. We can go link these two, and we can exes into Abyss Dweller. And we also got, so we got two interruptions. We also got a Abyss Dweller. That was also a pretty good hand. And we also have Will in the hand, which is so good. Because Will is like such a great extender. That's why we play three of it. So, thank you guys for watching. I will see you later.